Welcome back to St. Mojo Homestead. Today we are talking about fencing and minerals for the goats. Uh, two very important things, arguably the most important things. Uh, fencing, because that is ultimately what is going to keep your goats safe. It keeps them in and it keeps unwanted animals like predators out. Uh, there are several different ways you can do this. I'm gonna show you the way that we have done it and then throw out a couple of other ideas. Uh, now, there are a lot of people that will just use the uh, welded fence, uh, which is like typically comes in like the uh, two by four inch openings and the wires are welded together and then they just string that up. We used filled fencing which you can see behind me, which is four foot, four inch by four inch. The reason I like this is because you can get it pulled really tight. And that is what is gonna be key. Now, when we had the predator issue with our goats, our neighbors used the, uh, just that welded fence um, for theirs. And both of them lost all of their goats. The dog was able to get in underneath that and had really no problem getting in and getting out. It did come down to hours. It tried to dig in. It did not make it under. I cannot tell you that it was 100% uh, due to the fencing that we have um, because our dogs were aware that the dog was here and started barking. And, and I think that scared the dog away, uh, but it did try to dig in in a couple of different places and could not. Um, that is the benefit of having it really really tight is that it get, has no give to it whatsoever so what we do is we just use the t-post right here and attach it to the t-post in the line which is basically means like your run or one side of the fence that's going to be your line we use these as our line post uh, just because they're cheaper and then in the corners you can see over there we just do kind of the old-fashioned like corner post and then angle down to the ground and that one is buried underground. Uh, we actually, it ends at the T-post. So it's pushing against that T-post. What that does is just secure your corners because you're gonna have a lot of tension on those corners where that fence is pulling against it and wanting to pull it over. So those braces help to prevent that. A lot of times you'll see like the, um, the H method, I think is what it's called, where basically you have this T-post would be another wooden post and the angle would actually be a horizontal. So it makes an H that is gonna give you a lot more support on that corner post, but we don't have really long runs of fencing. So this has been plenty sufficient for us. We have not had any issues with that wanting to lean in. And we do not use electric fencing on ours. There are a lot of people that will. Um, mainly that is to keep predators out. You don't really have an issue with goats trying to like climb over the fence or anything like that. So we have not had to use it so we have not used it if you have a problem with goats really wanting to rub up on the the fence which we've got a couple of spots where they like to rub up on and they've actually bowed it out because this fence does give a little bit especially in the middle of it um, along the top and the bottom there's really no give to it whatsoever but if you want to prevent that you can run electric along the you know bottom about you know, six inches or so up and on the inside of the fence and that will keep the goats off of the fence if you're wanting to do it for predators you're going to want to run it along the bottom of the outside of the fence because obviously predators are on the outside trying to get in so that way they'll hit that electric it will shock them and they'll get out of there uh, and you won't have any issues you could also run it along the top there are people that do that as well um, we if you have a problem with like goats wanting to reach over the fence to try to get to something on the other side that will obviously deter them from doing that because they're not going to want to reach over electric wiring um, so just a couple of ideas on that most important though out of all these options is make sure it's tight make sure it's secure and make sure that it is not going to have any weak spots like where the posts are that would be your main weak spots where they could wiggle loose or get pushed loose with the goats leaning up against it gates are the main issue um, or the main weak spot as far as goats being able to get out and so you really want to make sure your gate system whatever you use is secure i'm going to show you two ways that we secure our gate our gates one is actually on the pig pen but we've had the baby goats over there and it works fine the other is what we do for this so this is the one on the pig pen 
it's just your regular gate. We did put the wiring up because like I said, the baby goats are in here. They could easily squeeze through that. So we just used, this is that uh, two by four welded wire that I was telling you about. It works fine for the gate. It's basically just to close in those openings. It also, you wanna keep the predators out. So if you use this, you definitely want it to be closed in. They do make gates that have this already on there. We just didn't have one. Um, and then all we do is use a chain with a carabiner on it. Uh, we don't use a latch, we don't do any of that. Goats can figure out latches, but they will not be able to open. I take that back. <laughs> I'm not gonna put anything past a goat. Uh, if you keep the carabiner on the outside, they should not be able to open that. If you put it on the inside, they could nibble on it and get lucky and you know get it off of that. But we do make sure this is tight so that nothing without thumbs can open it. So for the goat pen, this is our gate system that we use. We have a door right here with a latch up here, um, pretty basic. And it goes into our milk house. Uh, I don't know why I always duck. I always think I'm gonna hit my head and there's plenty of clearance over there. This other one's a little bit shorter. But anyway, so you come into the goat house and let me swing you back around. Then you've got another door over here. Now, I did not shut that one. If we do it the correct way, I should be shutting that one and then opening this one. That way the goats, if they do run past me and get into the goat house, because they, they know their treats are in here, they're gonna try to get in. Um, but if that happens, they can't get out because their door is closed. And then this one also has a latch, so we just unlatch it, go in there. I've got a goat right here. And so, I am not gonna go in there right now. Uh, <laughs> but basically that one swings open and we can get in that way. Uh, it has worked very, very well for us. And I would say that if you can set up some type of double gate system like this, it is well worth it. And it will ensure that you can get in and out without any goats trying to escape. And it just makes it that much more difficult for anything else to enter and exit through the gates. And I just wanted to show you a couple of things that we use to keep our goats healthy. So goats obviously need a fresh supply of clean, cool water every day, especially in these summer months. And they need their free choice of hay. The other thing they need free choice in their pen at all times is baking soda and minerals, goat minerals specifically. Goat minerals are different than sheep minerals. Goat minerals have copper. Goats need copper. You'll notice they have a copper deficiency if their coat, like if they have black and brown on their coat and it starts turning like red or bra a, a lighter brown, you know they need some copper. We did have a feed that had minerals added into them. That alone was not sufficient. They still needed to have minerals provided in their pen. Um, so what we get is just Mana Pro goat mineral. I, there are other minerals out there. You wanna make sure it's specifically for goats, not sheep. And we get it at Tractor Supply because it's easy. The other thing they need to have access to is baking soda. And I just get this at, it's just Arm & Hammer baking soda. I get it at Costco because it's a big bag. Um, the baking soda just keeps all of their rumen and everything and neutralizes any acid and keeps all their rumen working and everything in their digestive system working really well. So they always have to have access to baking soda and minerals and I will show you our setup. We had a, our setup we had before is a good setup. It wasn't great for us. So I'll show you our old setup and then I'll show you what we've done now for a new so setup. we are now in the goat pen um the setup we had before were these pvc pipes now there's an elbow pipe with a um with a hole in the front where they could stick their mouth in and eat it the problem with this setup is that first of all it gets dirty like the goats hang out down here and it gets they poop in it the other problem is that we, hello Frost. The other problem is that there's all that waste that goes in. So you pour in the baking soda in that hole and then I wanted to show you all this space down here. 
that basically you have to pour baking soda or minerals and all this piping that the goats can't access. And even in this portion here, like they can only get their mouth down about halfway. And so there's just a lot of waste in this setup. It's not my favorite. I have goats licking me everywhere. I guess I smell like baking soda. Hey, you wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? This is Frost, everyone's licking, they're very happy. Okay, so our new setup, we've been taking trees down, so let me watch my step. Our new setup is right by the door of the milk house, and you can see there's baking soda in one side, and there are minerals in the other. They've already enjoyed this setup quite a bit. This is just a much better setup. They're already enjoying it a whole lot more. Um, the minerals and the baking soda both need to be protected from the rain. The other thing I like about this location is I can be milking the goats and come out and check it and make sure there isn't any poop, make sure it's clean, and make sure there's stuff in it so I can, it's just very fast. Um, you know, we're all about being efficient here. So I can just step out of the milk house door and make sure the goats have the minerals and the baking soda that they need. You can get these mineral feeders at Tractor Supply or at your local, I think I got this at a local feed store. Um, they're really cheap and it's just a really easy way to make sure they have what they need on a daily basis. If you have any questions about goats or anything you would like us to answer <laughs> regarding goats, um, please let us know. Thank you again for being part of our YouTube family and for joining us on this crazy homesteading adventure. I hope you guys have a great week and be blessed.